So during puberty, a girl's entire reason, reason to exist is to become sexually desirable. So these, they are constantly comparing themselves with other girls, and they're obsessed with their appearance. Sound familiar? So the, what's happening is the hypothalamic pituitary ovarian axis is kicking in. So it's the first time since infantile puberty that her brain will be marinating in high levels of estrogen and waves of estrogen, progesterone, and testosterone. And these surges vary day to day and week to week. And how she feels about herself is dependent on where she is in the cycle. So the hippocampus, if you look back at your limbic system, the hippocampus, which is the part of the brain for memory and learning, and the hypothalamus, which controls the body organs, and the amygdala, which is the center for emotions, are affected by this new surge of hormones. And girls in puberty react more to relationship stress, while boys react more to challenges to authority. So the first two weeks of the cycle when estrogen is high, a girl is more likely to be socially engaged and relaxed. In the last two weeks of the cycle when the progesterone is high um, and estrogen is low, she's more likely to be irritable. So in puberty, the hormones levels rise and fluctuate and they also get a rise of cortisol which is produced by the adrenals. So the way that they uh, and another hormone, which we are going to talk more about, is oxytocin. So estrogen actually stimulates oxytocin coming from the pituitary, and this is a bonding hormone. So these girls connect with other girls by texting, Facebooking, talking on the phone, um, emailing, etc. This bonding with other girls is, releases something called, uh, another chemical called dopamine. So this oxytocin and dopamine, these chemicals um, stimulate the pleasure center of the brain and they're stress relieving. So the combination produces these intense bonding with other girls and reduces the stress and this dopamine rush is similar to a rush that a coke or heroin produces. So boys on the other hand get a testosterone surge uh, which decreases, decreases their interest in socializing and increases, except when it involves sports and um, sexual pursuits which becomes an obsession with boys. So girls who expect their boyfriends to talk on the phone with them are in for a big surprise. So this is a time period where boys, uh, the male brain and the female brain are totally, uh, have different priorities. Anxiety is four, more, uh, four times more common in, in women. And teenage girls are twice as likely uh, as boys to suffer from depression. Um, and this phenomenon exists across cultures from Asia, Middle East, North America, et cetera. The brain circuits and gene variations that are affected by estrogen and serotonin are thought to increase in a woman's risk of depression. Women are also three times more likely to suffer from seasonal affective disorder. She is experiencing severe mood swings, premenstrual syndrome. The most severe type of premenstrual syndrome is called PMDD, which is premenstrual dysphoric disorder. Um, so these, these girls, um, you can either just ride it out, but if it's so severe that they are, it's really affecting their life with these, um, these changes in personality, um, they can be controlled with continuous dose birth controls and or antidepressants. Um, so as estrogen resurges, uh, this affects the hippocampus, which lays down memory for words. So as a woman, uh, so the, the, the best time for a teenager to take their SATs is actually mid-cycle when their estrogen is highest, if you can ever <laughs> figure that one out. <laughs>